first things first, rest in peace, sucker fear. For real, you the only father that I What is good, everyone? Richard here from Weed City Soul. We're here to do a performance review on the Adidas Deal Alert 1. This is just the intro because I accidentally deleted the first intro and I'm not going to set up the whole stand that I usually use on my coffee table just to shoot this 10 second clip again. So we'll be getting to the regular view right away. Check it out. The Adidas Deal Alert 1 is Damian Lillard's first signature shoe. It's meant to appeal to the masses with its signature details and low budget pricing, but does it live up to the hype of one of the best point guards in the game? We're about to find out. So let's jump right into it. We're going to start with the cushioning as usual. What you're going to see is full length Adaprene Plus. Now Adaprene Plus is essentially just a standard EVA cushioning and um, it's one of the reasons that I have avoided this shoe up until now. Um, I was interested in the shoe when it first got announced because Damian Lillard is a player that I like watching. But when they said Adaprene Plus, mentally, I was almost immediately just out. I mean, really, it, it's, it's a really incredibly dated uh, technology. But in this shoe, it actually does its job pretty well. It's, it's got the tiniest bit of spring to it. It's comfortable underfoot. And impact protection is solid. Onto the upper, what you're going to see is a one-piece tech fit or essentially neoprene sleeve. The shoe is a low cut, and that neoprene sleeve is supported by the synthetic panels that run the length of the shoe. Now on the back, I was actually surprised to find out that this entire back piece wasn't a heel counter. Just from, from seeing them online and seeing them in pictures and people doing reviews, I thought this whole thing was a heel counter. But the heel counter is actually much smaller and lower and starts about there on down. Now in terms of comfort, this neoprene sleeve actually makes this shoe one of the most comfortable shoes just from purely for step in comfort that I've run across in years. This shoe is actually phenomenal for just slipping on, walking around, uh, doing errands, doing whatever you need to do in them. Um, it, it's a really great comfortable shoe just for casual wear. But the problem with this neoprene sleeve is it provides some of the worst lockdown I have ever experienced in a basketball shoe. Your foot will not stay put even a little bit while you're wearing these. If you're attempting to make hard cuts, your foot is basically turned 90 degrees sideways in this thing. Um, I was pretty disappointed because I thought with that step in comfort that you would have a really great performance low top if you could get everything locked down, especially with how comfortable the cushioning is underfoot. Um, so it was pretty disappointing when, when after a few runs this thing never actually started to lock down my foot. I thought it might be a break-in issue, but it's not. It's just a terrible fitting basketball shoe, which unfortunately, you know, for support and for fit, and it's just, it, it makes it a really bad shoe. Um, when the fit is so poor that you can't accurately judge any of the other performance aspects of a shoe, then that just makes for a bad basketball shoe. In terms of transition, the shoe actually started out pretty poorly. I could feel a definite separation and clip-clop type feeling when I was running up and down the court. That did break in a little bit with time, but it, it was never a super smooth shoe. However, again, back to I'm um, just wearing this thing casually. When you're just wearing them casually and it's just the neoprene sleeve holding your foot in there, and you're just walking around doing things, the transition's actually really good because these synthetic panels aren't wrapped around your foot. Everything just moves more fluidly and smoother. On to the traction, we see a wave bone pattern. Now, I've mentioned lots of times before that I get to play on a, a pretty pristine university court, and um, these things basically did their job, but there were a few hard cuts where I did slip out and I wasn't able to turn on a dime the way I, I generally like to do. But again, going back to the fit, um, a lot of the times the traction would do its job and bite the court and, and give me the opportunity to turn and move quickly. But then my foot would just slide inside the shoe. Um, the fit in the shoe really affected everything about it and um, 
it's a shame that uh, the fit of the shoe was so poor because it had a lot of solid performance aspects for a shoe that's priced at this price point. It's actually um, a great value at $105. Um, you get a signature shoe, but it doesn't perform very well. Uh, if you're just looking to rep for your favorite player and it happens to be Dame, that's, again, great value. But as a performance shoe, the shoe just doesn't work. Just going to show you a couple of the cool details here. If you take a look, the shoe features Dame on the right tongue and Adidas on the left. And if you spin the shoes around, there's the Damian Lillard logo on the left shoe and Adidas on the right. It doesn't really do anything to affect the performance or anything about the shoe. It's just a cool detail. I like asymmetrical details on shoes. I think it makes the shoes a unit as a pair if you have to look at them together to see the design details. And I just think that's a cool detail on this particular shoe. And on that value, again, I got these for $70 on eBay because there are so many colorways of them out right now and, and it was a budget model to begin with and it wasn't a super popular budget model. So these are available at a pretty solid deal. Um, if you're looking to rep for Dame uh, and you're just going to wear these around, then I would say go for it. I mean, it's a very comfortable shoe to wear, it's just not very good on the court whatsoever. If this review has been helpful to you at all, please comment, like, and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram at Weed City Soul. My name's Richard, and until next time, take this shoes. We was broke my team ill. Martin Luther King would have been on Dreamville. Talk to her, nigga. One time for my LA sisters. One time for my LA hoes. Lame niggas can't tell the difference One time for a nigga who knows Don't save her, she don't wanna be saved Don't save her, she don't wanna be saved Don't save her, she don't wanna be saved Don't save her, she don't wanna be saved